Parents and politicians are slamming the Biden administration's response to the country's baby formula shortage. Our next guest is demanding answers from the White House and the FDA, calling on them to take action. Washington Congresswoman Kathy McMorris Rogers joining us now. She's the ranking member of the House Energy and Commerce Committee. And Congresswoman, thank you so much for being here. You know, we have this timeline that really begs the question, should there have been more action sooner? That whistleblower reported concerns in October didn't interview them at the FDA until December. Plant closed, I think, uh, January, February, and now it's May. We've got this recall. Absolutely. This is this is devastating. It's a matter of life and death. It's very frustrating for, for moms all across the country when you go to the grocery store and the shelves are barren. It is a desperate situation. And then to think that you might have to drive somewhere with record high gas prices is just contributing to the, the crises that Americans are facing. I was actually I was at the grocery store over the weekend and I checked the the for baby formula, the, the shelf was bare. It was really shocking to see that. So we have been, we've been demanding, raising the alarm, sounding the alarm for months for the FDA to, to figure out what is going on. Why, why, do we, why are we facing this baby formula shortage? And it seems to be a combination of factors, but the, there's, why is the FDA not taking action? Why isn't the FDA figuring out where we could manufacture more in the United States of America? We have suppliers that would be ready to step up or we could import safely from other countries but yet today Americans are facing empty shelves. You and 105 other of your Republican colleagues sent a letter to the White House. You used the words life and death. The letter said in part quote this issue is a matter of life and death and it's time this administration treats it with the appropriate urgency it deserves. The former commissioner of the FDA Scott Gottlieb said earlier that the administration should have as you pointed out seen this coming from a mile away. Listen to how he put it. FDA didn't exert all the oversight that they could have of that facility. The agency had a 34-page whistleblower report in hand, making pretty serious allegations that there was data falsifications and data falsification and information withheld from inspectors. Um, so these should have prompted more aggressive action earlier. So, so two big questions: Why didn't the FDA act on this and work with Abbott prior to the February 17th uh, notification to them that they should recall this baby formula? And B. If the FDA knew that this was going to lead to the shutdown of the manufacture of 40 percent of the baby formula in this company, in this country, why wasn't there a contingency plan put in place? Uh, it is like a black box at the FDA. The FDA has been has been silent so far, and those are the very questions that we are asking. That we've been sounding the, the alarm for months. That why has this happened? How long is it going to take? And what is the plan now? We are going to have a hearing next week, finally, in front of the Energy and Commerce Committee to, to get to some of these questions. But the administration has been turning a blind eye to families that are in desperate need for formula. This is, as I said, this is a matter of life and death. And yet the FDA, they're hiding behind COVID and saying, oh, yeah, we, you know, we didn't have the people in place. Well, get the people back to work. Well, it seems like the president is not uh, suggesting that there's going to be any sort of review of what happened with this timeline here at the FDA because he said something pretty incredible about whether this could have been prevented. I want to play you what he said on Friday. If we'd been better mind readers, I guess we could have, but we moved as quickly as the problem became apparent to us. Well, this is where Congress, this is where Congress must do the oversight. Uh, we must do our jobs as the elected representatives of the people to get these answers as to why did this happen and why has it taken so long and what is going to be the plan from the FDA? They are the ones that make sure that the formula is safe, but clearly they're, they, they've shut down a plant, but they haven't answered the question as to what happened and how are we going to make sure that we have formula for families in America? You know, there seems, it seems that there is a lot that the administration could have done had they considered that, oh, by the way, we're going to take out 40 percent of the supply of baby formula in this country because there were trade restrictions in getting baby formula across the border from Canada. There are trade restrictions against importation of baby formula from Europe because the FDA says, well, maybe it's not up to our standards. Apparently, baby formula in Europe is better than what we have here. Well, FDA has has dropped the ball, and 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 we must get some answers. Yes, we want to make sure that baby formula is safe. Absolutely, we all share that goal. But FDA just shutting it down, or you know, we as you said, John, we could be importing safe baby formula from other countries. There are manufacturers here in the United States of America that are ready, that would like to have a green light from FDA, and yet there is like a black hole at the FDA. Yeah, it's just this idea that there's 
there should have been some contingency plan. They you know, they it's, have it's dropped like if the you ball. got three big car manufacturers and you're going to take one of them out, you know, you got to get cars from somewhere. Well, and that that goes to a larger issue as to why the why we find ourselves in this situation. Why aren't why aren't there more manufacturers? It, you know, there's been a lot of consolidation in the mm -hmm. industry due to the regulations from the FDA in the name of safety. Well, FDA, you need to be doing your job and making sure that we actually have supply. All right. Well, we'll get you back after the hearings. Hear what you have to say, Thank Kathy McMorris Rogers. Great to spend time with you. Thank Thanks. You. Good to be with both of you. Thank you, Jackie. Thanks.